My family was from Ireland. Charlie, I'm glad it's you. My father used to say, lie down with dogs and you'll wake up with fleas. My father always told me to follow my gut. It won't let you down, son. It's your best weapon. But sometimes, you gotta do what you gotta do. My late father also said, Charles, you didn't start trouble. It was there when you got here. Hi, I'm Eric from Gypsy Productions, and welcome to the behind the scenes of Red Hand which is a new animated web series that we're producing to promote an Irish whiskey brand. And trust me, I'm not known, Gypsy is not known for its animated skills. <laughs> we're, normally we shoot on this. But storytelling is storytelling, no matter what process we use. When our client came to us, they originally wanted something similar to a web series pilot that I produced last year a period piece based in the 1930s, uh, but one very important difference, uh, they wanted it animated. The original concept called for voiceover during the animation sequences, but this soon changed into actual dialogue between the characters. And at this point, all I could think about were the days when I started animating on Super 8, you know, frame by frame. But uh, Real Illusions products, Character Creator 3, iClone, 3D Exchange, etc have really made this process achievable and uh, relatively simple. As with any project, we start with a script and a story, and uh, we develop our characters. Then I took inspiration uh, from, you know, basic film noir look, uh, Peaky Blinders, On the Waterfront, Casablanca, Boardwalk Empire, and Road to Perdition. Now, these are what we use to create the, the actual look and the feel of what we wanted visually. Uh, for the workflow, I used uh, Character Creator, uh, and then that went to iClone 7, then exported out as uh, FBX and 3D Exchange. Modeling like the sets and some of the animation was done in uh, Cinema 4D. For example, the car rig and the car chase scene uh, that's coming up in it, uh, I did in Cinema 4D because Cinema's built-in tools for this are, are pretty amazing. But the, the majority of the digital content creation uh, was done inside of Houdini, but, well, you know, because literally you can create anything inside of Houdini. Now... Real Illusions Character Creator 3 is the solution we came up to uh, with for building these characters. And it's, it's honestly, it's just like holding a casting call, but uh, without all the drama. And I, I never really uh, used this program previously, and it took me about a week or so to really get the feel uh, of it and really to see its true power. I could design the perfect character, do the wardrobe. Uh, the learning curve isn't really steep to get the basics, uh, it's not like Maya or Houdini where you can really easily get lost in the technical aspects and, and all the while forgetting the artistic side. Uh, but w as with a lot of this software, um, as you create and you get towards the end, you find out, wow, I wish I would have known this uh, in the beginning because it can, uh, it can do some really amazing things. The characters were then exported to iClone 7 via Real Illusions 3D Exchange for animation. Uh, it's an easy workflow using some basic tools inside the program and a couple others I'll talk about in just a second. The dialogue was a piece of cake with Aculips. Uh, Tommy Graybeck is the voice actor for the main character, Charlie O'Malley. We simply let him do his thing. A crazy talented guy, by the way. Uh, we recorded his lines, imported the WAV files into Aculips, 
added animations, expressions. Um, and I don't have a mocap suit, uh, so I used mocaps from uh, Real Illusions Actor Core, which is another add-on, uh, great stuff. And uh, some of the more complex uh, fight moves I got from uh, mocap online. The animations, along with all of the textures and materials, uh, were exported out of iClone as FBX to Houdini. And I'm going to tell you, uh, there, uh, what is exported out of iClone as far as the textures uh, that you can use, it's really, truly amazing. Uh, the sets and the actual modeling of the Red Hand uh, whiskey bottle were modeled inside of Cinema 4D and exported as OBJs or sometimes Alembics uh, to Houdini. And I, I know I could have uh, done the rendering in iClone, but at this point, I'm really not familiar enough with the render engine uh, inside of iClone. So uh, Houdini then allowed me to create all of the volumes and simulations necessary uh, for the look and feel that we wanted. And like I said, nothing uh, comes close to uh, what you can create and simulate inside Houdini. Uh, the factory and the city sets are from Kitbash, uh, which is another great product. Telling a story uh, by creating everything digitally is very similar to how you would do it with live actors, but there are some very stark differences. You can't shoot digitally for coverage, you know, wide, over the shoulder, close up, and then throw it all in the edit and see what you get, because the render times just wouldn't allow it. You have to remember that trimming a couple seconds off of an edit of something shot live is pretty standard, but remember, with digital... It takes sometimes 10 minutes per frame to render out your digital creation. And so at 24 frames a second, that's 240 minutes of render time that's basically wasted. But I can create any location I want. No permits, no fees, no insurance. Imagine as a DP having access to unlimited lighting and grip where golden hour can be 24 hours a day. Imagine never smashing your hand on another C stand or combo stand. I know that there's nothing that can replace being on set. The camaraderie, the fun, <laughs> there's, not, there's really nothing like it. But when you create something digitally, like Red Hand, your filmmaking and storytelling skills are going to grow exponentially. Uh, the, the amount of visualization that you have to have and patience and, and, and diligence to see it through. And everybody has access to this software, like Character Creator 3, iClone, Houdini, any of it. It's there. The community is there to help you, too. That's I've, I've never met a, a, a bunch of people that are willing to help somebody out, answer questions. They're everywhere. And in the end, just remember, the whole thing's an adventure. And I thank you for watching.